Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Thomas Rask and I'm a landscape and wildlife photographer from Sweden. And I'm not a professional photographer. This is a hobby of mine, but I'm very passionate about it. And what's gonna happen in this video? Well, just like my most recent video, I'm gonna follow a stream, upstreams, and look for the white-throated dipper. Because in my last video, the dipper eluded me. I couldn't find it, so uh, I want some revenge. <laughs> so I'm ho hoping to see the dipper. If you're a frequent watcher of my channel, you can probably hear that there's something different with my voice. And that's because I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. I've catch some kind of cold. I took one of those quick tests you can do at home and it's not COVID at least, so it's just a common cold. So I'm not sure how much energy I have today, but I'm still excited to see if I can get a glimpse of the dipper. So let's get going. So this is the stream I'm gonna follow upstreams. And right here, the stream is covered in ice. So this is not a good place to find a dipper. But I met a, a guy from the local bird spotting club and he gave me a, a great advice or tip where to find the dipper. So I'm just gonna go a couple of hundred meters upstreams and hopefully there are better conditions there for the dipper. The pathway is covered in ice. It's really slippery here. But luckily I brought with me some spikes that I can put on my boots. So I'm actually gonna stop here and do that because I don't want to trip and fall here with all my expensive camera gear. Yes, this is much better. So this actually looks really promising, but at this spot, I think the water level is a little bit too high. They want shallower water when they go down into the water and look for food. So I'm not gonna linger here, I'm gonna continue upstreams. Just up ahead there's a bridge crossing the stream. So I'm gonna walk out on the bridge and get a really nice view over the stream. I'll probably be there a while and see if I can see the dipper. And if I do, <laughs> I'm gonna look for a better position. Try to sneak closer and see if I can get some really nice footage of it. The temperature has been about zero the last couple of days. So there's a lot of melt water and the water level is a lot higher than I pictured it in my mind. But still, I'm gonna sit here at the bench and just take it easy because I have no stress today. I can take my time and hopefully something interesting will show up.
I was really nice to sit there for a while, but no luck with the dipper. So I've decided to change my location. So I have to go back to all the way from where I came from. So yeah, I see you at the new location. Well guys, I give up. I have been to five locations today and no sign of the dipper. So I give up and I can't really expect nature to deliver what I want it to. Nature has its own ways, so I'm not really sad or disappointed. It's just how it is for a wildlife photographer sometimes. Sometimes you don't have luck. <laughs> and to make up for this kind of failure, <laughs> failure I'm gonna show you a medley of footage from when I've seen the dipper in the past. Okay, so even though this day didn't really go to plan, I have some really nice plans for next weekend. I'm gonna go car camping uh, by the sea. So um, I'm gonna pack my car with everything I need, food, clothes, camera equipment, and be, be out in nature for two whole days, even sleep back here in the car. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to this video this week. <laughs> Thank you all. I see you in the next video. Bye for now.